Hi everyone, what I'm going to be showing you today is how to clean your lifters in an SR20 engine. Um, chances are you have a motor that has over 100,000 miles on it. What happens is these lifters inside, they're hydraulic, uh, they're supposed to be filled with oil and the oil that gets caught up in them after time uh, causes these things to kind of get a little sloppy and what happens is um, they're in your valve train you have a rocker arm that sits on top of here and then the other portion of the rocker arm splits off and it actually opens and closes two valves either on your intake side or exhaust. Um, what you're going to see is I have some clean lifters over there on the left I just started this and I have some dirty ones over to the right. Um, I'll try to explain this as quickly and as much detail as you really need to know but basically what happens is as the engine's running and the oil is squirting over the valve train underneath your valve cover, these hydraulic lifter assemblies, uh, they take oil and uh, they, they're supposed to be filled with oil at all times. Whenever they get air in them or whenever they start getting a little bit dirty, they will uh, start to gum up. And the way you can tell is when you push on the top of this, you can see with this one in particular that it's been in a motor for quite some time. It's pretty, pretty gummed up, and there is a lot of movement in the top here. So this is probably causing a lot of noise in the valve train on a car, and um, you know it, it, it's probably very noticeable to the person that's driving it or anyone else in the car, anyone outside. What happens is when you put these in clean oil, and after you really flush them out good. Um, this one probably has air in it, just like the other one. I mean, I haven't had these soaking in oil for too long, but you're going to see there's some oil dripping out of there. When I push down on the top of a clean one, the amount of movement from the top to the bottom is very minimal. That means this one's pretty cleaned out. You can see some oil that's coming out that's pretty nasty. I probably need to go through and clean that one up a little bit more. But what happens is, when you really get these things clean, they will... Um, they will stay nice and tight on the top for you. Maybe I can show a better example with this one. There's another one that's clean. Movement is pretty minimal for the most part. I mean, these are starting to really work some air in them, so they're going to move a little bit more. This one in particular is a dirty one. I don't know if I could really show how much, but... Man, that one definitely has a lot more movement in it. I made up a tool here. It's really just an Allen key wrench with a welded extension on it. I didn't have I have a bunch of junk Allen keys laying around, and uh, this one seems to do the job pretty well. Now, what's going to happen is when you push this pin through the top, you'll feel inside. It's it'll center itself. And it'll give you the capability to push down on it. And what's going to happen is it's going to unlock, and this is going to come through all the way. Another way to tell if it's starting to get gum up, gummed up, you'll push down on it and you'll feel on the inside, you could probably even hear it. it. Seems to be like a lot of friction. This one seems to be gummed up pretty well. If I push down on one of the ones that I had just cleaned, center this pin inside. It's very, very smooth going through. So, like I said, I got three over here. These have been pretty much clean for the most part. I got uh, two little jars here that I've been using to clean these things out. I'm going to go ahead and show you. Uh, for the most part, this oil is pretty clean. We'll go ahead and drop the lifter inside. I got, um, luckily, a drop nice in there for you so you could see where that hole is at. What you're going to see is when you push down, and hopefully I can do this nice and smooth for you here. When I get that centered, I start to push down. You see a bunch of air bubbles coming out. Now this is the trick when you're going to put these back in the car. You want to make sure that you get all of the air out of the lifters. You can see the air bubbles shooting right out of that. 
what's going to happen right now is I have this one pretty much drained. It's going to basically flush out all the garbage inside this lifter. You can see that oil is just getting dirtier and dirtier. I'm probably going to have to change it on the next set of four that I'm going to try to clean out. So now what we're going to do is pull the lifter out. Just to avoid saving, making a mess there, and dropping in the other container that I have. These are just little medicine containers you probably have laying around your house somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one, and I'm gonna flush out all that oil that I just put through there, just so I can show you what a clean one's gonna look like when it gets done. Now, also when it's locked down. If you really want to get the fluid out, you could also push down on top of there. Really get all that old oil out of it. And now, when we take a look at this, this is now a clean lifter for the most part. Go ahead and center our pin here. You'll feel it once it gets right in the center there. Simply push down. You'll see a lot of that oil push out. It's all right. There's still a little bit left in there. Now, when I go nice and smooth with it, there's very little friction in this lifter. This lifter feels really good. When I put it back in it in a car before. I actually drop it back into the cylinder head. You're going to want to do the same thing again in a cleaner uh, container of oil. You want to keep fresh oil in there. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you want to go a little bit thicker inside just to help prep it a little bit before the motor starts running. You do like a 1040 or something. Uh, some people run 1040 in their cars. But it'll ensure that you don't have any air in the lifter. Um, you want to work out all the air just like I did a moment ago when it was in there. But it's always a good idea to flush or kind of clean these out a little bit. Get all the old debris and oil out of there. You can see now that there's nothing, uh, no oil really left in here. There's still a little bit. But when I go to push down, there's very minimal movement. This is one that I had just cleaned. When I go over to one of the other ones, here's another dirty one. When you watch me push this down tons of movement in there so it's gummed up it's going to make some noise once you put it back in a car the one that i had just cleaned out back over here show you an example again push down nice and strong on the top so it's not gummed up when you put it back in get all the air out this should sound really nice in the car you shouldn't have any valve tray noise get rid of your valve tap and uh Hopefully you weren't running your car too long with lifters that needed to be serviced because uh, you could potentially cause some damage to the inside of the rocker arm from it constantly tapping all the time. In that case, just find yourself some new rockers, slap in some clean lifters, make sure your shims are right. If you don't know how to do that, look it up and uh, should be good to go. This is uh, one of the number one causing problems for valve train noise so just wanted to show some of you guys how to how to clean these bad boys out and hopefully get your motor running like new and uh sounding like sounding like a champ again so i uh, hope this helps you out have a good rest of the day take care